My model car building buddies, this here is Glenn's Models. I'm Glenn, and I am the handsomest guy in Mississippi. Uh, you know, that's what my mom says. And Anybody wants to call my mom a liar? Uh, better stand up. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, let me... My buddies up here at Spotlight Hobbies. Don't forget them. Uh, they got in the new... A new thing they got in is AMT 70 Monte Carlo. I know that's not how you spell Monte. Shut up. Lil Rider. Also the Revel 2022 Vet Stingray Z Z51 Coupe. Alright. Yeah. These are a couple of cool models. They just got them in not long ago. So y'all might want to go over there and check that out. That'd be cool. Stuff to do. Okay, um, let me see where I'm going to start this show with the start of it, I guess. I have been working on things and stuff. Let me get my camera set. And, uh, man, that is loose. Okay, now, yeah, I've been working on some things. The uh, stupid camera stand. <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay. Yeah. Oh, these these uh oil cans that come with the uh, garage. Uh, what it done was I clipped them all loose to where it was just like a set of them on each one of these trees. Like that. And this is going to be a lot easier than putting them suckers together one at a time. You, know, you, you get the and eh, put them together like that. There they are, locked together. Just take your uh, Tamiya Thin Glue and tap each one on the tip with a little glue and hang on to it while it dries. Yeah, see? And then you got all these guys glued together. They ain't glued together now. That's why they're moving around. But these are. See that? All glued together. And I clipped off the extra, you know, from... Get this up here. See, it's got the one on the other side. I cut that off to where you just got this. And leave them on here. Leave them on here until you get the seam cleaned up and the decals put on them. Then cut them loose. Because, <laughs> man, there is a bunch of these little buggers. And, yeah, it'd be pretty hard to do if you're hanging on to the darn thing trying to put it together. Now, let me set these back over there. And I got another tip. Yeah, it's a little quick one. If you don't mind, uh, how to make a speaker for your car, for the back of your model. If I can get it to come in. Come on, focusing. There we go. All right. Ooh, that looks terrible. And, it don't look so good on the camera, but <laughs> it looks a lot better in person. What you do is you get your rim like this, and, and you sand the edge down flat. So you got a nice flat surface. Put you some bare metal foil on it. Take the backing off. <laughs> put it on. And run a bead of super glue around the edge. You might want to go ahead and just wet this down with a thin coat of super glue, and then put it into the backing of this and once you got it on let me go ahead and peel this off I can't put the super glue on because that's got to dry for a couple minutes and then this would be a super long video just get that on there I hope I was holding it on the camera and then mash it down and fold the edge see you got to fold the edge down like that, it won't stay there. I mean, when we're when when you get it done, you know, you can take and trim it off. But you got to get it on because if you don't, when you go to see when you go to dish it down, it'll uh, pull loose around the edge. See, and then that's not down far enough. But when you get it far enough, you take this little headlight lens. And put it in the middle, glue it down here in the middle, like that. 
and paint it. And then after you paint it and paint it dry, you can take this like sandpaper stick and pull down. You can't go up or you'll pull the edge off, but go all the way around it pulling down and that'll cut it loose to where you can pull this extra off of here. I can't do it all right now because I'm doing it in front of a camera and trying to do it really quick. But yeah, you'll do better. You'll do better, <laughs> better than I did with it. I didn't have any Q-tips. You had to take a Q-tip and work it and go back and forth and around and work out any kind of wrinkles or anything you get in it and then paint it black. But that's not bad. Also, Spotlight had some uh, photo etched speaker grills. I don't know what size they are, but they come in the interior accessories. And uh, if you get those and match them to the size rim that you use, you know, then you'd have a cool speaker with a grill on it. Okay, well, that's that. Speaker how to make a thing. Okay, oh, and speaking of thing, here's Fing. He, how you doing? He come in to see uh, my sidekick. That's what he's supposed to be, is my sidekick. It is very late at night, and I am very tired, and I'm a little groggy because I've been having some grog. And, uh, yeah, so Fing, you help out as much as you can, okay, buddy? Oh, yeah, okay. He's a good boy. I tell you what, I like the little guy. Now, um, I got a new project for when I get done with that guy over there. See him? When I get done with him, and I am done with him, so this is my next guy. I made this, this is from a while back. I made this detailed uh, artist rendering of the car I want to build. And I got it right here. Yeah, that you you don't waste a, a good rendering like this and not build it. So this is what I'm, this is it. It's a Fiat with a chop top and a driver out the back sitting on a rail. This rail, chasse. Oops, and with the Fiat body on it. I got two of them because I'm going to chop the top way down. And it'll take two of them to chop the top way down. And let me see what else I got in here. So I got some slicks. And I got some of these things. Radius rods. Tie rod. Um, all kinds of all kinds of flip digits and doodads. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, there's a motor too. It's an old timey motor going in it. I don't know what it is. I don't remember what it is. Something. We'll find out. We'll find out when I build it. You just have to wait. Okay. That's impressive right there. I mean, that is... Okay. Let me move that out the way. And move this back over here onto my desk. Now, I got to put this over here. Man, I got so much junk drug out. I can't move. Okay, move that out the way. Guess what I got? Guess what I did? I got a stash and I got this bad boy. And I am going to show you what's in that box. Man, that is a beautiful car, isn't it? That's nice box art, too. I really like this box art. Okay. It's on the side. Not a lot to look at. You remember, hey, old dudes out there, my buddies who are old dudes. You remember when you go into the the store where they had models and you'd look and you'd see that, oh, look how cool that is. And first thing you do, look on the side and see what all came with it. There would be tons and tons of parts and things that came with it like this. You know, this is what they used to come with. You, every kit. And they'd show you what the stuff there was on the side. They don't do that anymore. I wish they would. Uh, what is it? Round two. They put the they put the thing on the bottom to where you can see what's in there. But it's still a little hard to tell. Okay. 
uh, start with these beautiful instructions. Mobius, this is a Mobius kit, by the way. Did I say Mobius? It is. There it is up in the top corner, Mobius. Yep. And it's a 65 Dodge A990 Hemi sedan. And it comes with the road map that you have to go to take special road map folding classes after hours at the Y. I don't know why, but they have to make it as a road map. So you... Uh, I hate those things like that. I wish they'd book. You know, you turn the page, set the book down and over here and, and, and go through it. Building your model. Look at this, how pretty. And what is with Dodge calling their cars A990? For the love of corn, man, you know? They can't come up with a cool name like Camaro or Firebird or Charger. Anyway, I know I get off on a tangent or distracted or whatever. This is a beautiful box. Where's this parting line? Okay, there's a little bit right there along the top. Uh, comes across right here. Thing you show them. Okay. And right here. Little bit of parting. This one ain't bad over here at all. Oh, I want to say something that I don't know if you younger modelers know or not, but every single part in the kit has parting lines. And these are some that you don't normally think of. These are round the windows, all of the round the windows, back windows. There's always a parting line. You have to watch for the sharp parting lines. Sand them down a little bit. They're around the wheel wells. They're under the car. They're everywhere. Parting lines. Okay, and that's not like a party line like your phone used to be back in the dinosaur days. Let me see, what in the world is that? Ooh, look at that, that is cool. That's one of those box things that covers up your uh, console so you can put a standard shift in it, I guess. And these are the front and rear filler panels, I'm guessing. Here's a dashboard. Oh, man, look, no gate. Where am I at? Sorry about that. I am I was looking at the part instead of looking in the camera like a dummy. But look, at there's no nothing in here, so you can use that decal. I hate it when they do that. They do that all the darn time. They put the instrument numbers in here and then give you a decal that won't go over them unless you sand it down. And Here's two hoods. I know, I got off on another thing. This is nice, though. Stock hood. You don't get the stock hood with the funny car. You get this hood and one with a hole cut in it. So it's nice to see that stock hood, should you decide to use it. Here is, I'm not sure what headers. I think there's going to be a NASCAR version of this car come out soon because those are definitely NASCAR style tuned headers. They may be the headers for this kit. I don't know. I don't know. Here's some more of them, though. Weird headers. Tuned headers is all the same length tubes, by the way, in case you didn't know that. Here is two different grills, in case you want to use the stripped-down lightweight two-headlight version, or the stock four-headlight version. Got some bumpers and tail lights. Very cool. Here's the wheels, tires. A uh, set of no-name pie crusties for the back. And same for the front without the pie crust. Chasse is... Ooh, that's nice. Nice and clean. Let me turn it over. Yeah, see, there's interior panels. Those look good. I like it when they make them separate. You can detail them so much easier. Nice looking uh, floor pan. Let me see what else do we have here. We have, ah, this is the rear end, which looks pretty good. Uh, it's a little open here on top, but you could fill that in if you had, if you had the notion. And here's the front subframe. Yeah, and K member and some hood hinges and shocks and stuff like that. There are a lot of parts in this as a fully detailed kit. Here we have radiator and battery and 
inner fender wells, which I love it that they're separate because I hate inner fender wells. I cut them out of just about every model I got. So you can see the headers and the motor and everything through the wheel well. Come on, man. Give me, give me a break. That's what I like, so that's what I do. Now, it looks like parts are missing, but I'm going to do a comparison between this kit and the uh, AFX version that uh, Dave Strickler. Yeah, it's the same kit, but it has altered wheelbase. And I think what they do is they make the, the tree and then just take out the extra parts that you're not going to need in this kit. And on the other kit, they would shade this out and have a different part. I bet that's what was here. I bet it was the one like this that sat farther forward. You know, we'll have to see. I'll do a comparison on these two next week. Or the week after. You don't know. I'm I'm kind of flighty when it comes to doing stuff. This is one of the nicest looking motors. Motor trees. Um, It got these weird carburetors. You got these two parts. And these two parts. These, see, they're like, they're like breathers. And then here's a couple more parts for carburetors. And here's a couple more parts for carburetors. And let me see. Yeah. There's like a, these guys up here. And then these guys and these guys. I don't know. There's, a, there's probably two different options on carburetor version. Stock rims. Got to have stock rims if you're going to run super stock. And that's what this is. I bet that's the headers that I, I thought was NASCAR headers. What do I know? I'm just an old dude. Here are the decals. Nice. Ooh. See them dodges right there? And that stupid fly? Yeah. Um. Little bitty tiny individual decals for the Dodge um yeah you can get your mama to put those on for you because I'm not going to do it <laughs> that is way too little for for my old timey eyes this is my favorite part of this kit why because of extra parts who likes extra parts y'all all shout Glenn at the same time <laughs> stacks look at these are so beautiful they got the ends of them open. And, the, and they're four in a thing. Makes it a lot easier to get them all to march in a straight line, I'll tell you what. And this is the same as the other Dodge funny car they got. The uh, Golden Commandos. There's the grill for them. And probably the bumper. It shares parts. We're sharing parts. Okay? Valve covers. I really, <laughs> I got me an extra set of stacks. I love that. And a bunch of other parts on here, all in gleaming chrome and 3D. And gluten-free, too, by the way. I might mention that all these Mobius kits are gluten-free. Or is it glutton? I don't know. It could be glutton. Okay, next is something else that's next. Oh, I had a little thing to... Uh, I've been showing some two so far, but I got a few more to show of my friend here. John Ricci, Ricci, Ricci. I don't know how to say that last name, but that's how you spell it, okay? I've been showing his videos. Y'all been watching them and commenting nice. He is an excellent, excellent, excellent model builder, but he don't want to get a channel because he only does four of those videos in a year's time. He, he, he feels like that's not enough content. And uh, so I'm showing them for him. So they're not mine. Please don't think I did that. I'm not taking credit for them. They are too beautiful. And, he, and if you guys think I built those, thank you, man. That's a high compliment because there's no way I could do anything as nice as those. Anyway, yeah, those are John's, and I got a few more coming for y'all, so look for them and watch for them. Let me see now. Um, I, got some, I got some news. This guy is done. Let me see if I can get him 
a bunch of in the picture here. Um, took this and move this like this. Yep, the old troublemaker is done. I got the rest of the decals on it and I got the headers. You see them coming out there in front of the back wheels. Haha. <laughs> I, I like this one. This was this is gonna be one of my, another favorite in my case because it is just this just ultra cool. I like putting decals on over the headlights. I don't know why. It's just something that I do. I like them headers coming out the side there. A great big old boom tube. Let me show you what they look like. See. I made them, I took some uh, zoomies from a funny car, and I cut all the tubes separate all the way and put them up there one at a time and angled them right and then cut the end off of them and put this tube on there. Had it hanging out and then cut it where it just, just clears the body. Oh my goodness, this body's not easy to put on here. There it goes. Yeah, see that? Not bad. They look cool, I think. Let me tip this up for a second. Yeah. Neato exhaust. And I ain't painting that. I got the chrome. I said I was going to paint that chrome down the side. I ain't doing it. Uh, if I do, one of these dogs is going to bump me, and I'm going to have paint on the white or the red that won't come off. You you try to <laughs> you try to do that with nine dogs seeking your constant attention. Can't be done. Can't do it. So I like it. It looks good enough like that, so I'm leaving it. And so this is my troublemaker. Sixty some odd Ford truck. Sitting all low. Oh, did I bring the boxes? No. Um, I didn't bring the boxes over, and I'm not sure where they The uh, Tom McEwen Mongoose, that new release from Atlantis that Spotlight has, it is a uh, rail, rear engine rail. That's what I used for the chassis. And then the body is the, uh, oh, I don't have my glasses. Oh, here they are. Hang on, I'm working on it. I don't say it. just says Ford F one hundred. It's the one with the camper comes with it. And it got separate bed. It's a mont solid uh uh unibody. That gummit, that's what it is. Unibody. Alright, anyway, that's this guy. And he's finished, so get a good look. He's going in the cabinet. <laughs> Alright, I'm put him over here and oh check out this guy. I got the motor made for him, and I got a name for him. It's an interim name. Uh, I'll come up with something better after it's done. But for now, his name is Fred. I got, I got a. I wanted the motor to look like an F1 motor, like IndyCar. So naturally, I started talking about it when it's out of sight. But yeah, I got the wires on. It's a, it's a nail head motor. With the little short stacks. And yeah, I kind of wanted it to look like an IndyCar motor. Because this kind of favors an IndyCar. There you go, thing. Oh, if I can just show it right through here. And yeah, kind of looks like an IndyCar. So I wanted the motor to look a little Indy-ish. Man, I'm telling you, Spotlight has got these stacks. They're reasonable. They're, I think they're aluminum. I'm not sure, but I think they're aluminum. Or al they might be aluminum. One of the two. And uh, they're beautiful, shiny. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's what this guy is going along. He's going to be Fred until he gets done. And then I'll pick a, a righteous name. Or maybe one of you guys will suggest a one for him by then. But I got the wheels on it, got the motor in, and now now I have to build an interior for it. All righty, and I I did this. <coughs> excuse me for the gas station. It's the 
excuse me again, is the air compressor thing. If you'll do this, oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, a little bitty guy. <coughs> but he is cool. All kinds of detail. <coughs> Dang it. And there's the motor. <coughs> Electric motor and the shutoff valve. Once again, it's in black and white to match the rest of the shop. Now, <coughs> excuse me some more. I, I'm about ready to be done, except I want to tell you what my dad did. <coughs> dad gummit. All right. My dad always rode, well, he always liked Harleys, and he had one for a long time, Harley Davidson. And he wanted a, he wanted an Indian you know, because he really liked Indian bikes. So he went, his buddy told him, go check with this other guy. So he went and checked with him, and the guy says, he was an old guy, had a, an old-timey shop with a bunch of parts laying everywhere. And Dad told him he was looking for, uh, I don't know what year it was or kind, told him what kind it was. And he said, yeah, I can get you one of those. And Dad said, well, how much you want? And he told him, and he said, well, where is it? And he said, well, if you look around the room, you'll see it. Okay. He said, come back tomorrow and I'll have it ready for you. Uh, all right. And we took off. And the guy, before we left, we watched the guy. He went in the other room and come out with a frame. He went in the back room, come out with a motor. Went over here and picked up a couple wheels. And he started gathering parts and piling them up there. And uh, then we took off. Come back the next day, and there was this cool Indian motorcycle sitting there, ready to go. Fired right up and run good and everything. Dad paid him for it. And I got on the back, being behind him, and uh, hanging on for dear life. <laughs> had my arms wrapped around him, my legs hanging out, and uh, rode home. He was taking it easy, you know, because it was freshly built bike and he wasn't familiar with it and it had different controls from a harley you know and uh, he was doing real good till we got home see my house has this the house where we was living had this tree in the front yard show them thing it come up at an angle like that it was growing at an angle went up so far and then turned up i did this uh I did this extensive artist renditioning of the situation. This is the tree, okay? <laughs> when when we come up in the yard, Dad missed the break, and he run up the tree with the <laughs> with the Indian bike, and the back wheel I'm guessing was about three foot up the tree, but the front wheel was way up here, and it was about to come over because the tree you know came back and the bike was about to flip over and dad reached in behind him and grabbed me this is me <laughs> and grabbed me and tossed me over the clouds and down into the yard and then rode the bike down the tree effortlessly just right back down the tree no problem and stopped and he looked over at me and i was sitting i I hit the ground and spun around quick enough to see him ride down. And he said, hey, boy, are you okay? And I said, yeah, I'm fine, but I wanted to ride down the tree on the bike, too. <laughs> and uh, I want to back it up here just a second, though, to where the, the motorcycle had just stopped up the tree. Dad had to make a decision right then to save the boy or to try to save the motorcycle because he didn't know. As far as he knew, that bike was going to crash, you know, run off the tree and hit the ground. And he didn't know, so that's when he grabbed me and chunked me off into the into the grass over there. But I thought that was pretty cool. He chose, you know, better not take a chance with the boy and toss him over there onto the ground and take and save the bike, which he, it would have been cool anyway, but, you know, he didn't want to take the chance. And I, I always up, looked up to him for that, you know. Good dad. All right, well, this is the part where I got to start begging for uh, uh, subscriptions. If you don't mind subscribing and give me a like and eh, on that button. Oh, it's so much fun. And, eh.
like that and ring that black bell when you do the subscribe the bells come up you hit the black one it'll give you every time i do this you'll get one you'll you'll get a notification and share share this with your buddies man and if you don't mind leave me a comment takes me a little while to answer them but i'm working on it so i love all you guys and I hope you'll come back next week for the next episode. And I hope you stayed for this part. If not, I'm just talking to myself. So y'all remember not to forget. And I will see y'all later. Bye.